You are continuously talking there. Sit down. So 9.5. Hope all of you followed. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Easy, no? Yes, yes, sir. Let's finish it up. Exercise 19.2. What do you mean? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, now. Let's do it, huh? Okay, so we have to write it directly as a new one. All of you write directly as a new one and start.
Sir, I guess I missed one number. Mr. Means, make it right now. What is which number means? Sir, one minute. There are how many numbers? Ten or nine? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
Is it 29.5 of the yes, data? Sir. No. Sir. Not necessary on the data. We can say it's a Understood all of you? Yes, sir. It's such a long search formula. For even number, it's just divided by 12 or odd number. Hello. Mean, Mira, what is the meaning of median? Mira, what is the meaning of median? Median. Middle. So there are two middle means, odd and divided by 2. That's it. Yes, sir. So, we are already organized. Well, there are sometimes, you know, this terms that mean big one. They will give us some particular numbers of it. Okay. Question number question number two. Okay. Uh, this girl, huh? What are you Yeah. 
your homework will be your exercise 9 19.1 homework you are not done no sir and uh, 19.2 not homework done no, both you have to do it that the first homework please okay now all of you can do one thing close your textbook okay in your link okay so this chapter is over yes, this is chapter chapter number 99 so mean me so with the your problems are solved yes. you are needed a chapter okay next chapter we are going to do is called geometry part geometry there are lot of parts are there
know, it's a part of the Infinite. Thing. Okay, infinitely is going. Imagine that on size of this. Okay, that means it's a plane you know. Next, line all of you know? Yes. yes sir. Do you know how to draw the line? Yes, sir. How okay, do you know how to give the name of the line? Yes. Sir. How do you give the name of the line? I know. I know. I know. One of you. Two. Yes, sir. Right. So, what, uh, we have to draw two arrows A and B. Hmm. Achha, achha, you have to put on the arrow A and B. Is it or not? Yes. Yes. Hey, Viraj, you have to give it in an arm. Hey, Viraj, you have to give it in an arm. You just like AB and on top. How to give the name of the land? Uh, one, one, arrow head and one arrow head and one. That is the same thing we, Viraj was saying. You said something else. Look here. This is a line. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Why is this a line? It is extending. And what do you mean by this arrow? Can you take the length of this line? No. You cannot measure the length of the line. Okay. How to give the name of the line means take any two points. Not on the arrow head. Arrow head means there is nothing to arrow head. Okay. Then we will write this as line A. Or either this or this one. Nowadays, generally, we are making this way. Both are correct. Both are correct. Okay, now most of the time we are going to use this one. Okay. Now, another way you can give the line name. Line L. Small letter, one single small letter. Okay. Understood? Capital letter means two points should be there. Okay. Single letter means one single point or single letter. Okay, it can also mean length. Huh? Look here, this is length. L length is there in the other part, insulation part. Okay. Here you can write line L, line A is also a point also, no? Like that, okay? Line you have followed all of you. Line L, line M. Now, next is coming as Next, this much is clear line. Can you compare two lines? No. Comparison of two lines, you cannot because they you yeah, both endless. endless, you cannot measure. Can you find the midpoint of a line? Yes. No, you no. cannot. It's, there is no yeah, length yeah, means okay. Yeah. Now, after that, when you when you draw two lines, how many different ways you can draw two lines? There are all the directions. Alternate. How many different ways you can draw two lines? One dot and then a line. Two ways you can, two, one way it is called parallel lines. And the other one is called intersecting lines. And the other one is overlapping. Overlapping means same line only. In, do you know what you mean by parallel lines? They do not meet at any point. Intersecting lines? They intersect with each other. Okay, at how many points? At only one point, which one is intersecting. Point. Do you know overlapping means? One point. Yeah, it is one, one on the other one. One on the other, same line only. This is overlapping line, two lines are same line. Okay. Overlapping means both the lines are same. Okay, this is intersecting. Overlapping and intersecting are two different things. Okay, overlapping is called coincident lines. Okay, they are not parallel. Parallel means it is coming as two different lines is coming. Okay. Coincident to each other. Now, this also is clear. Do you know what you mean by line segment? Yes, sir. Who knows? Line segment has one end and the other One end only? No, just two ends. Line segment is a part of the line which is having how many end points? Two end points. Okay. It has a fixed length. All of you know now? Okay. You can find out the midpoint of the line segment. What is the meaning of the midpoint? The middle point. What is the meaning of the middle point? Middle, middle point. Middle part of the middle point. Is there, is there a length divided by two? Yes, here is Viraj. Yes, sir. Tell me what is the meaning of the midpoint? The midpoint is the length divided by two. Yes, sir. 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 The point which divides the line segment into two equal parts. That is called the midpoint. Understood or not? Yes. Suppose if I tell C, C is the midpoint means 
AC will be equal to CB. Yes, sir. Yes. What? <laughs> 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 Stop talking. Wow. Viraj, continuously you are talking and you are taking others' name. Okay, sir. AC, it will not happen again. AC is equal to half AB or BC is equal to half AB. Or AB is equal to 2 AC. AB is equal to 2 BC. These, all these things are same. All these things mean C is the midpoint of AB. Are you followed? Do you know how to write the segment AB? Simply AB or this way. Without anything writing also segment AB. Okay, understood. You know what is the ray? What is the ray? One end point and inter extending to. So, can you measure the length of the ray? No. 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 Okay, that also is clear. No problem. Yes. Now, we are going to after lines. Now, we are going to. Do you know what is the difference between line and a straight line? Yes. Yes. Huh? yes. What is? Line and a straight line. Huh. You, you know? Ah, then let them tell. Na. Huh? What? Yeah. So we can find the straight point of straight. Ah, line constraints. Yeah. Straight, I don't know. You? And other one? Who tell the different, what happened? You're feeling cold. <laughs> go and switch off the AC. Yes. Are go and switch off the AC. So, huh? nothing is common. Nothing is common. I mean, everything is common. <laughs> AC is common. <laughs> Listen. Hello. All of you listen now. When if I draw, if the question comes, draw a line AB or draw straight line AB, both are same thing. Okay. Line and straight line are same. same. They are not the different things. This also is clear. Don't, don't think. That is all generally we write. Sometimes some of the books you see, find line AB. Find with, okay, straight line, no differences. Okay, this also no problem. Yes, yes. Now, we are going to the next is called angles. You know the angles now? Okay, how is an angle form? Sir, so, 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 Two rays meet at a common point. Okay, two rays meet at a common point, it is called an angle. Okay, this common point is called an angle. Common point is called the vertex. And these are called the arms. Almost everyone is smart. Okay. Now, okay, Shirisha, give the name of this angle. Only one way. How many Shirishas are here? <laughs> Shirisha stand up. Sir, angle A, B, C or C, B. Or any other way? You? Sir, angle A, B, C, C, B. That's all? Yeah. You are telling B, C, A. No, sir, I am very correct. Also angle B. Yeah, sir. Okay. Sir. Vertex also you can tell. Is with the vertex, if there is only one angle, you can tell vertex angle. Yeah. Okay. A, B, C, C, B, A or angle B. If it is more than, like suppose it is coming in this way, yeah. then you cannot tell us this is the one as you know B. B means different, different angles. Okay, okay. sit down. What happened? Huh? Any problem? No okay. problem. Types of angles, all of you know? Yes, sir. Do you know what is an acute angle? Yes, sir. I will ask some. You? Uh, okay, yes. <laughs> uh, what is the yeah, angle which is less than 90 degrees is called the acute angle. Other type of angle can you tell me? Stand up. Ah, which one? You tell me. Sir, I think I am. 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 Sir, I think I am.
vertex? Do they have a common vertex? Yes. Do they have a common arm? Yes. Whereas their interiors are not separate. See, A B D and A B D and A B C. Interiors are not indifferent. Therefore, they are not adjacent angle. Or the common arm lie on not in the opposite side. See, same side. Understood now? Which are not adjacent angles. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. Have you heard about uh, what? So the vertex it was like D and A were parallel to each other and C was a line. Are you looking here? You have to see this one. You are asking this one now? Yes, sir. Straight so, line. So, is it, are, are they adjacent angles? Tell me now. They are adjacent angles. Yes, see, yes. vertex, arm, uh, interior, this one. Okay. <laughs> Do you know what I mean by linear pair angles? Yes. What? Angle, adjacent angles added to 180 degree. That means angles on a straight line. Are called which angles? Ah, it's called a linear pair angles. Understood now? Next. Is my just clear? Have you heard about vertically opposite angles? Yes. We'll tell. Intersect. Do you know what is the meaning of the word intersect? Yes. Sir. Those who know, raise the hand. Yes. Coincide. Sir, when they meet at the point. Meet at a common point. Vertex. Okay. Understood. Coinciding is something different. You remember what is the meaning of intersect? Yes. Both meet at a common point. Okay, common point between the surfaces. Okay, now when two lines intersect, the opposite angles are called vertically opposite angles. Yes. A angle AOC and angle BOD. Another pair AOD and BOC. Okay, how to identify their vertically opposite angle? Check both of them are lines or not. A, B, and C, D. Suppose if I draw this way. Are they vertically opposite angles? No, sir. They are not vertically opposite angles. It's not a straight line. Okay, two lines intersect only vertically opposite angle. Are you followed? Yes, sir. Check, is it a straight line? No. It should have been this way. Hope you have got it. Yes, sir. Vertically opposite angles are always always Equal. Equal and straight. What's it? Yeah, Vertically yeah. opposite angles are always equal. Means angle AOC is equal to angle BOD. Angle AOD is equal to angle COC. Are you following this also? Yes. Okay. Sir. Vertically opposite angles. I am going to the next one. Yes, sir. Have you heard about transversal? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yes. 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 A line which intersects two or more lines is called transversal. Sakarika, you are talking about this one now? Yes, sir. and then there is one like this. This is called the transversal. Okay, this line is called the transversal. Not equal. Not equal. Not equal. Not equal. <laughs> If we zoom in this, we can Now, they are meeting at two different points. These two lines need not be parallel and all, okay? There is a name for this PQ. Interior lines. I mean, interior lines. Exterior lines. 
quantity here. There is a nine name for this segment PQ. Nine segment. <laughs> Intercept. 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 Have we studied last year equal intercept theorem? Yes, equal intercept, intercept property. Okay, look here. This is called the intercept. Now, one word is there intersect. Yes, These two are two different things. Sir, intersect is one. Uh, intersect means meeting point. Intercept means it's a segment. Okay. Oh. Now, I am going to name the angles. Asit? Yes. Asit? Yes, How many angles are marked over here? How many angles are marked over here? Eight. Eight angles. Do you know which are the name of these eight angles? Angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, angle 4, angle 5, 6, 7, 8. Understood now? Sit down. These are the 8 angles. Yes. Riddhi, do you know which are the pairs of corresponding angles? Yes. So 1 and 5. 1 and 5. 4 and 6. 4 and 6. 3 and 7. 3 and 7. 2 and 8. 2 and 8. They are the pairs of corresponding angles. Okay, wait now. Do you know which are the, who knows which are the pairs of alternate interior angles? 2 and 6. 2 and 6. 3 and 5. Do you know which are the co interior angles or consecutive interior angles? 2 and 5, 3 and 6. Okay, this one. Uh, this prop. 5. 5, 8, 2 and 5, 3 and 6. This once again in the next class I tell because identifying how to identify and all. Okay, so we will be, next class we will be bringing the part of the geometry box. Keeping a geometry box also.